Welcome to the Windows Computers and Technology channel. So, how is it going to be moving forward when Windows 11 is released? So, what we know is that it's going to be released this fall. Windows 11 will officially be the new operating system. And the update cycle is going to be interesting. So, right now in Windows updates, well, you know, you had to go uh, into your, when you went to update and security, you had you know, your update, your typical feature updates. They pushed us with two feature updates a year, which was kind of crazy. Then they moved on to one update a year and to um, now, right now, we had a few cumulative updates. Uh, we had 18 month cycles between builds. So that's the thing that is interesting here is that for Windows 11, this changes. In Windows 11, we will have one big update a year that's official so that means once a year windows 11 will have a big feature update that's better than what windows 10 ever had that feature update will also be good for 24 months that means when you get to windows 11 for example this fall that version is going to be good for 24 months without having to do any updates so two years uh, and every year if you update to the latest new v version of Windows 11 that they're going to release, you will have from that version 24 months of support before you have to move on to another version of Windows 11. So that is much better than Windows 10. It's also much clearer than Windows 10 on the way that they're going to do it now. So one update a year and each updates will actually be 24 months of support. Not bad. That's much better than Windows 10 and I think it's a good idea. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.